open source LLM ops is here and MLflow did it first, it seems. Because Databricks did very, very good with this and I have to praise them again on this one. Now let's talk about the latest update to MLflow, which is version 2.3. And this version introduces some amazing new features specifically designed for large language models. And even better than this, let's run Dolly on Databricks in about 10 lines of code. But before we start talking about it, if you're new here, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel so you never miss an update. Now, many of you are familiar with MLflow, but for those that aren't, MLflow is a popular open source platform that allows teams to manage and deploy machine learning models for both batch and real-time inference. And it's currently used, I think, by, by thousands of organizations, you know, from diverse uh, industries and for a diverse range of MLOps applications. And with this release, they're moving into LLM ops, which I believe is the new trend this year. To be honest, it's a very positive trend because it's an evolution of the current setup of ML ops into large language models. Now, the first thing in this release, we have three brand new model flavors, as they call them. And this is Hugging Face Transformers, OpenAI Functions, and Langchain. And this means that MLflow now has native support for all of these and it makes it easier than ever to actually work with uh, large language models. For Hugging Face Transformers, the integration actually means that you can now work with, I think, around 170,000 free and accessible machine learning models, which are available on Hugging Face. And with this, you can actually work with fully configured transformer pipelines or base models such as Dolly 2. All you need to do is use open source MLflow. Now, let me show you an example of how simple it is to integrate Databricks Dolly with Hugging Face. We currently have three versions of Dolly version 2. We have the 3 billion parameters, which is the smallest one, and then we get 7 billion and 12 billion parameters as the largest one. And I wanted to run this on Azure Databricks. And I decided in the end that I'm going to use Python models that are loaded from pipelines. And initially, as I wanted to spend as little as possible on the compute, I created a standard compute with 14 gig of RAM. Now, this didn't really work as I ran the code sample from Databricks in order to load the smallest dolly. I wanted to load the 3 billion parameter one. And I literally got an out of memory error for 14 gig, right? But after checking some documentation and some community posts, I realized that I actually needed around 64 gig to solve this problem. So I decided to go for 64 gig of RAM and eight cores to actually get this job done. And I also went for a machine learning runtime because the machine learning runtime comes with PyTorch pre-installed. And you definitely need PyTorch or TensorFlow uh, for this specific task. And another thing that I've done was to also install MLflow 2.3 as a cluster library instead of installing it at a notebook level because I wanted to get the correct version. So that should get the job done. Now this 3 billion parameter model uh, is around 5.3 gig. And running the whole cell took about eight minutes. Now, it worked perfectly, and we got our predictions. As you see, these predictions aren't the best. But to be honest, we're actually using the smallest model. I also ran the 12 billion parameter model afterwards because I wanted to see if the performance is better. But with the same compute, I got an out of memory error again, even with 64 gigs. So I think like if we double this, it should work without any problems. But also keep in mind that the 12 billion parameter model is actually 22 gig compared to the 5.3 gig small Dolly. So we managed to run Dolly on Databricks with only 10 lines of code. And I believe this is literally amazing because it's really a game changer for LLM ops. You know, guys, large language models have been making waves in the AI and machine learning space. And with the rise of LLMs, managing and deploying these models in an efficient way has become a critical aspect of the machine learning pipeline. And MLflow literally does this incredibly well because it's fully integrated. And this integration not only simplifies the deployment process, but also makes it easier to work with all of these state-of-the-art models. And this literally accelerates development cycles and encourages collaboration both within teams and between teams. So this update is a massive step forward for uh, LLM ops as it actually provides an user-friendly method to manage, deploy, and integrate large language models. So we can definitely say that the age of LLM ops has begun. Again, guys, if you like this type of content, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.